tonight in just a few short hours Impact Wrestling returns to UK television screens. Impact Wrestling will once again have a national television presence here in the UK when it begins airing this evening at 9pm on Spike TV. Spike Television is one of the channels that has availability to every television in the UK. It's available on all the different platforms on Freeview channel 31, Freesat channel 141, Sky channel 160 and Virgin Media channel 154. This is following the end of the working relationship between Challenge TV who previously aired the programming and Impact Wrestling. Now Impact Wrestling will be on Spike TV which is owned by Viacom and the whole Channel 5 group who owns the Channel 5 group of uh, channels 5, 5 USA, Spike, Spike, you know, Spike TV. So Impact Wrestling is back once again on UK television screens. We have seen the involvement uh, or reports involvement, uh, obviously it seems confirmed, of Jeff Jarrett and Anthem Sports in the upcoming World of Sport television tapings. Next month, a new 10 part series will be taped in Preston of the world, new ITV World of Sport series. We saw it being revived last year, uh, which was aired in the festive season, and I firmly believe all of this will m get Impact Wrestling back and directly involved in the UK wrestling scene. We do know that a couple at least of Impact Wrestling stars will be featured on the World of Sports series including Magnus who has recently returned to the company and you know, it's not too much I think to, to uh, too much of a possibility to say that we may even see more Impact Wrestling even non-UK stars, some American stars uh, be involved in the world of sport if there's any further series of that. I think it'd be too much of a kind of holiday camp kind of pantomime thing to do USA versus the UK but I firmly believe that uh, certainly the when it comes to things like the production side of things I think that the resources of Anthem and Impact Wrestling uh, I think it could very well help the world of sport television uh, program and therefore raise the profile of course of Impact Wrestling here in the UK. I know, I, it does make me wonder whether we will see any kind of working relationship and it is there unofficially with the involvement of Jeff Jarrett and Anthem Sports in the new World of Sports series but you know, we, will we see a working relationship go between the World of Sport and ITV and Impact Wrestling. You know, uh, I don't think it's too much to say that that may very well happen, especially with the attitude uh, and work that Impact Wrestling has done recently. We, you know, One of the intriguing things to me about the return of Impact Wrestling is the working relationships that Impact is forging with various different companies. Just a couple of days ago, we saw the official Finally, at the official press conference for where uh, Impact Wrestling announced the working relationship with the AAA promotion in Mexico. AAA are the ones who run the Lucha Underground uh, television series. Uh, well, they're part owners of it, but they provide the talent for that. Well, some of the talent now, so a few of them have left, unfortunately, over the last few years, uh, well, last few months even. Um, so... Impact Wrestling is certainly working to get working relationships with the likes of AAA and even the Crash promotion in Mexico. So we, who knows, you know, this all may end up being a similar situation to the way WCW used to have it many years ago, uh, obviously many, many years ago now, uh, where 
they used to have guests from Japan, from Mexico, on their television show. And I'm talking long before Nitro. I'm talking the very early 90s. The Jushin Ligers, uh, you know, the some of the luchadors, Mil Mascaris, in the very early 90s, well before the Cruiserweights and that whole revolution. But, you know, Impact Wrestling working to gain relationships with companies, I believe, all across the world. Uh, you know, Jeff Jarrett is well known, respected in the wrestling circles. So we, and especially with the, with the Crash Promotion, uh, that is run by Lucha Libre legend Conan, who has also returned recently to Impact Wrestling. Something that I didn't think we'd see, uh, and his ability to negotiate working relationships is amazing. It truly is. Uh, you know, he's one of the guys who works really hard in gaining relationships and if he's one of the people on board that will push to garner relationships with not just me uh, Mexican companies in Impact Wrestling but perhaps, uh, of course, there's been lots of reports that various uh, UK companies would like to work with Impact Wrestling uh, and that, you, that Impact Wrestling is looking to work with various UK promotions and various worldwide promotions in Europe uh, in Australasia, in Asia, and uh, you know all over the world, you know it. You know, could we end up with a, a kind of NWA situation like we had many years ago with the territories? A lot of them in the United States worked under the NWA banner. Will we see a similar kind of relationship uh, in the year in the years coming up, where Impact Wrestling uh, and the, the different uh, companies all across the world start to work together so we may see uh, international star and people we we may not even know about right at this moment appearing on shows like ITV's World of Sport on or Impact Wrestling on Spike TV uh, obviously that that opens up a whole different avenue to um, you know to for the wrestlers for wrestling fans to see stars they don't know yet, they they may become fans of it. It's a whole, and I think I'm kind of reaching here uh, on this bot. Who knows what will happen in the future with Impact Wrestling and seeming their seeming attitude to try and garner working relationships uh, with various companies all around the world. It's just an exciting possibility, and it may very well all begin tonight with Impact Wrestling returning to UK television screens. We've seen some departures, like the Hardy Boys, we've seen some returns like Magnus, reported to play Crimson, and other people. Sanjay Dutt is apparently working now as a producer with Impact Wrestling, turning down a WWE offer recently, uh, apparently. Uh, so I think it's going to be very exciting. To next, some point next week, I will sit uh, and uh, talk about what I thought of the Impact Wrestling program. I haven't followed it as closely, um, not really having the ability to pay for the TNA app, but it's kind of like their version of the W Network, I believe some old shows have been added to that, so uh, and we may see that progress as well, who knows. But tonight, Impact Wrestling coming back to UK, UK screens, uh, it's going to be very good to see what the viewership is like, over, and it's going to be, to be honest, I think it's going to be a while, because I believe uh, because the one thing I want to say though is that I believe that Impact Wrestling is still undergoing a lot of changes uh, and I don't think that we will be able to, uh, inst and I know people will, I know that, that fans always do, but I don't think that we will be instant instantly be able to see, okay, Impact Wrestling is kick-ass or Impact Wrestling is horrible right away, right from the off, right from the first episode. I think Impact Wrestling is still undergoing changes. I think it's still developing under its new identity, its new ownership. I think it's going to be a while before we get to see, okay, this, because there's been a lot of stuff being thrown at the wall recently about Impact Wrestling. A lot of changes, a lot of things happening. Uh, and it's certainly been a very busy, from what I've seen, the reports of what happened on the programme. A lot of things happening uh, in order to, to make the changes. Uh, you know, a lot of on-screen stuff um, happening in order to make the changes uh, that they want to, to do. So I think it's going to be a while before we can truly judge how Impact Wrestling will be like. But I'm very excited to see the return tonight of Impact Wrestling on Spike TV this evening, 9pm. I'll certainly be watching at some point uh, during this weekend and I'll be talking about what I think of the programme 
next week.